Macedonia is not the first time that I choose Macedonia. I choose this place because I um, love this place and, and I love the traditional music that exists here. That's very particular. And it's the third time I actually come to Stip. Um, I came like first time five years ago and then four years ago and then this year again. And always because I'm interested into the folklore, the traditional music and especially the, the traditional music as, as it played by the Romani people. There are many, many, many good musicians, and especially saxophone players. I'm a jazz musician. I grew up as a jazz musician. I, I do this. I compose and play. No, normally, saxophone players, they they think uh, there are kind of two ways, two main streams of, of playing the instrument, like jazz oriented or classical oriented. And I think that here uh, can. Uh, by itself, traditionally, it, it, in another way of playing the saxophone was invented. Also, te technical-wise, it's very, very deep and very, very interesting. So this kind of sound started to attract me, probably because I was a saxophone player, and uh, through the I discovered, let's say, the Macedonian Roma music, and through um, Macedonian uh, Roma music studying, I discovered that there is a huge influence of Turkish music, so I started to also get deep into it, by playing the Ney, going to Istanbul to study Magams and this kind of stuff. Of course, um, there is a lot of interaction. I love the Balkans because a lot of culture lives together, there is a lot of different heritages that are stratified to, all together and, and mixed, so uh, it's difficult like, to, to like Macedonian music, I don't like Serbian music or Bulgarian music. So, um, the purple, purpose of my travel in this moment is, um, of course, get, getting more in touch with music and with the musicians in the area. Um, so, the reason why I came here first um, is because I could apply for a, um, a grant for, for this project of mine. So, I wrote this project to, to go to different countries. I started with Greece and then I started a road trip afterwards through Belgrade, um, Sofia, Plovdiv, and I'm, I'm here uh, in Stipi, Macedonia. Uh, you're going to have a master class here with the students and at Gozdalchev University. Can you tell more about the master class, what, what is going to be about? Uh, yeah, the, the master class, um, I, here in Stipe I had the chance to um, create a partnership for, for this project with the, the jazz department of the university uh, through Professor Tony Gidanowski. And here I'm meeting the, the, jazz, the student of the jazz department and, and we are talking about um, uh, the, the didactic, the, the, the method, the method of, of practicing how jazz musicians should, should organize their practice and what should they study and on what they should focus. I hope that there will be uh, more of this. At the moment, let's say, I, I don't have plans, I have ideas. But in uh, the future, like in the next week, so something that is happening now is that yesterday night 20 um, students of mine from Italy, they arrived also here in Stip. Uh, because in the last years I started sharing my knowledge of the Balkan music with Italian musicians. There, um, there is not a lot of, about this topic in Italy and so there is a lot of interest. So many musicians like, are studying these kind of things with me. And I organized together with uh, Niso and Sershuk Alim of their Romani amazing musicians from Stip, a workshop here with the Italian guys coming to study the Balkan music. They arrived yesterday and from tomorrow for four days there will be this workshop here in Stip. I think it's a very nice connection. Mm -hmm.